Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to evaluate uh, different properties, different statistical properties from a given joint probability density function. So, given the following prob joint PDF f x comma y of x comma y is equal to c times e power minus of 2x square minus 4xy plus 4y square. For any value of x, so and y. So given this joint PDF, we want to find uh, different properties of this, different statistical properties of this distribution. Uh, so the first one we are interested in are the means of the marginal distributions of x and y. So we want to find p x, expectation of x and expectation of y. So expectation of x is defined as integral x into f x of x dx. So, in order to find this expectation, we need to find the marginal PDF of x. So, marginal PDF of x is defined as fx of x equal to integral fx comma y of x comma y dy. So, now using the given PDF, jo given joint PDF, we have integral c into e power minus of 2x square minus 4xy plus 4y square dy. So, this is the when the limits are of course from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is the marginal PDF of x and this can be simplified as follows. This is equal to by separating this 2x square as x square plus x square we have c into e power minus x square. So this term is independent of the y so we can take it outside and, and we are left with integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus of 2y minus x whole square dy. Clearly uh, this x, when x square is separated as x square plus x square, the rest of the term basically forms a minus b whole square terms. Okay. The rest of the terms basically can be written as a minus b whole square where a is equal to y and b is equal to x. Now, we, we can rearrange this integral such that we, it is related to the Gaussian PDF. So by changing the variables 2y minus x is equal to t by square root of 2 such that dy is equal to dt by 2 times root 2, we have c into e power minus x square integral minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, when we change the variables, the limits does not change. So, we have the limits uh, same as the previous integral. Now, uh, for the integration, for the integrand part, we have e power minus t square by 2. Since 2y minus x is equal to t by root 2, this is t square by 2. And dy is equal to dt by 2 root 2. This is dt by 2 root 2. So, this becomes c into e power minus x square divided by 2 root 2 into integral e power minus, uh, integral up to minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus t square by 2 dt. But we know that uh, the, uh, the integration on the standard normal distribution, which is defined as uh, 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus t square by 2 dt is equal to 1. So, this integral must be equal to square root of 2 pi. Therefore, we have c into e power minus x square divided by 2 root 2 into root 2 pi, uh, square root of 2 pi. So, we have therefore fx of x, that is marginal distribution of x is equal to c into square root of pi by 2 into e power minus x square. This is the marginal distribution of x, the marginal PDF of x. Now, expectation of x can be calculated as follows. That is, we have integral x into c root pi by 2 e power minus x square dx. So, this is equal to c root, two pi, c root pi divided by 2 integral x into e power minus x square dx. And the limits are, of course, from minus infinity to plus infinity. You can clearly see that this is an odd function. So, the integration from minus infinity to plus infinity should be equal to 0. Therefore, expectation of x is equal to 0. Next, we want to calculate the expectation of the random variable y, which is defined as integral y, y, f y of y, dy. So, in order to do this integration, we have to first find the marginal distribution, marginal PDF of y, which is defined as integral minus infinity to plus infinity f x comma y of x comma y dx. So, now by using the original given definition of f x comma y, there is a joint PDF, we have integral minus infinity to plus infinity c into e power minus of 
2x square minus 4xy plus 4y square dx is equal to now we can rewrite this summation the exponent of this exponential function as follows that is minus infinity to plus infinity c into e power by taking two common from all the three terms we have x square minus 4xy plus and we are left with 2y square but we can rewrite 2y square as we have x square minus 2xy plus 2y square and then we write 2y square as y square plus y square dx and since y is independent of x we can take that c e power minus 2y square outside we have c into e power minus 2y square into l minus infinity to plus infinity and the rest of three form uh, terms form the a minus b whole square terms that is we have e power minus 2 into x, x minus y whole square dx so clearly this integration can be related to the Gaussian integration presented here as follows that is we can write x minus y as equal to t by 2 and dx as dt by 2 so by using this change of variables we get integration c into e power minus 2y square into an uh, integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus t square by 2 since 2 into t square by 4 is t square by 2 and we have dt by 2 therefore this integration is equal to c into e power minus 2y square by 2 integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus t square by 2 dt and this is equal to and this integration can be compared to this integral and this obviously this should be equal to square root of 2 pi so we are left with c into e power minus 2 y square divided by 2 into square root of 2 pi therefore fy of y is equal to c into square root of pi by 2 into e power minus 2 y square this is the marginal pdf of y so again from this pdf now we can calculate the expectation of y that is expectation of y is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity y into c the square root of pi by 2 e power minus 2y square dy clearly this is a odd function and this integral is over an odd function from minus infinity to plus infinity so it should be equal to 0 therefore expectation of y is equal to 0 now we want to calculate the correlation quotient of these two random variables x and y the correlation quotient is given by the following definition rho of x comma y is equal to expectation of the product x x minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 into y minus mu 2 divided by sigma 2 and we know that mu 1 is equal to expectation of x is equal to 0 and mu 2 is equal to expectation of y is equal to 0 and sigma 1 is variance I mean square root of the variance of x that is the standard deviation of x and sigma 2 is the standard deviation of y so which is equal to square root of variance of y and variance of x is given by the difference between the second moment expectation of x square minus square of the expectation and since expectation of x is 0 we have expectation of x square I mean the variance of x is equal to expectation of x square that is variance of x is equal to its, its second moment now we want to find the second moment expectation of x square which is given by integration x square fx of x dx and um, and we have that fx of x is equal we just proved that fx of x equal to c into square root of pi divided by 2 into e power minus x square so this integration becomes minus infinity to plus infinity x square into c into square root of pi divided by 2 into e power minus x square dx and by uh, changing the variables as x equal to t by root 2 we have dx equal to dt by root 2 and the limits are same uh, as for x so we have integration we have c into root 2 root, root pi divided by 2 integral minus infinity to plus infinity t square by 2 into e power minus t square by 2 dt by square root of 2 um, now we can rewrite this as c into root pi divided by 4 root 2 integral minus infinity to plus infinity e t square into e power t square by 2 dt so from the definition of the standard normal random variable we know that square root 1 by square root of 2 pi 
integral minus infinity to plus infinity x square into e power minus x square by 2 dx is equal to 1. That is the variance of standard normal random variable is 1. So, from by comparing this with this integral, this uh, identity, we know that this integral should be equal to square root of 2 pi. So, this is becomes c into root pi divided by 4 into root 2 into square root of 2 pi. This is equal to c into pi by 4. Therefore, variance of x is c into pi by 4. Therefore, variance of x is equal to c pi by 4 and that implies standard deviation of x sigma 1 or sigma x is equal to square root of c pi divided by 4. Next, we want to find the standard deviation of y. That is, sigma 2 is equal to sigma y is equal to variance of y. So, variance of y again by same argument is equal to expectation of y square since the expectation of y is 0. So, expectation of y square is equal to integral y square f y of y dy. And, uh, and we already have derived that the marginal distribution of y is given by f y of y is equal to c into square root of pi by 2 into e power minus 2 y square. So, by using this definition and um, by using this result, we can evaluate e of y square as follows. That is, e of y square is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity y square into c into square root of pi by 2 e power minus 2 y square dy. And by using y is equal to t by 2 and dy is equal to dt by 2, we get c into root of root of pi by 2 into integral minus infinity to plus infinity t square by 4 into e power minus t square by 2 dt by 2 is equal to c into square root of pi by 2 and uh, 1 by 8 and the rest of the integral is basically equal to square root of 2 pi. So, this becomes c into pi by 8. Therefore, the standard deviation sigma y is equal to square root of c pi by 8. Now, in order to find the um, correlation coefficient, we need the you need to find the numerator of the definition. That is, we want to find expectation of x minus mu 1 into y minus mu 2. But since mu 1 and mu 2 are equal to 0, we need to find the expectation of x y, which is the correlation of the two random variables x and y. And by definition, expectation of x y is equal to integral, double integral x y, x into y, f x comma y of x comma y, dx dy. And the limits are from minus infinity to plus infinity, minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, by using the definition, that is uh, given definition, that is given definition of the joint PDF, we have integral minus infinity to plus infinity and x y. So, the correlation uh, becomes x into y into c into e power 2x square minus 4xy plus 4y square dx dy. Now, by separating the x terms, we have x into, of course, c outside, we have x into e power minus x square integral minus infinity to plus infinity y into e power minus 2y minus x whole square dy dx. Basically, we separated the exponent as some of these two terms. So, this becomes in c into integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into e power minus x square. And this integral is nothing but the, I mean, this is very similar to the definition of the mean of a um, Gaussian PDF with the variable y and mean x by 2. That is, this can be rewritten as integral minus infinity to plus infinity y into e power y minus x by 2 divided by 1 by 4 into d by dx. Now, this one definitely looks like a Gaussian distribution with a missing normalizing constant. So, this becomes c into integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into e power minus x square and this is equal to uh, the mean that is x by 2 multiplied by the normalizing constant square root of 2 pi. So, this should be equal to x by 2 and the normalizing constant should be equal to square root of 2 pi into a half of, I mean the variance that is square root of 2 pi into 1 by 4 that is 2 pi square root of 2 pi into 
the variance. Two, two times variance is 1 by 4, so variance is 1 by 8. So we have 1 by 8 dx. So this can be simplified as c into square root of pi divided by 2 into square root of 1 by 4, that is 1 by 2. So 2 into 2 is 4. Integral minus infinity to plus infinity x square e power minus x square dx. Again, by using the change of variables, x equal to t by root 2, we have t square by 2, e power minus t square by 2, and dt by square root of 2. So, we have additional 1 by 2 root 2 factor. So, we have square c into root of pi by 4 into 1 by 2 root 2 into, we are left with integral minus infinity to plus infinity t square t e power minus t square by 2 dt, which is by definition the variance of a standard normal random variable uh, with the missing normalizing constant. So, it should the, this integral should be equal to square root of 2 pi. So, this is equal to c into square root of pi 1 by 8 root 2 into square root of 2 pi. So, for this is c pi by 8. Therefore, correlation e of x y is equal to c into pi divided by 8. Now, since the means of x and y are zeros, the correlation coefficient rho x comma y is equal to expectation of x comma y that is correlation divided by sigma 1 or sigma x into sigma y 2 that is sigma y. Therefore, the st I mean, these are standard deviations of x and y. Uh, the correlation is equal to c pi divided by 8 and the standard deviation of x is c pi by 4 my square root of c pi by 4 and standard deviation of y is square root of c pi by 8. So, now we can cancel the c pi's uh, in the numerator and denominator and we are left with square root of 32 divided by 8, which is equal to uh, square root of 32 is again 4 times root square root of 2. So, this is 1 by 4 into root 2 divided by 8 is equal to 1 by root 2. Therefore, correlation between x and y is equal to 1 by square root of 2. Thanks for watching.